This weekend, parts of southern Colorado have been experiencing trouble at the pump. We've been tracking this story, and though the exact reason remains unclear, the problems persist. KRDO News Channel 13, Sean Rice joins us now live from Woodland Park with the latest. Sean. Yeah, Natalie, I'm right here in Woodland Park at this gas station right across the street. There are out of order bags at each of the pumps, but over here where we are at this station, people are filling up without issue. It's concern of a gas shortage grows. Some pumps are dry while others are flowing without issue, but often with long lines. In Canyon City last night, many pumps were out of service, prompting visitors to look elsewhere. If I don't get gas here, I think we're going to go another 40 miles and uh, look for another one. <laughs> In Colorado Springs, some gas stations had pumps out of order, while others were full with people filling up. This Costco off North Nevada seeing long lines throughout the day. However, some are urging people not to panic buy. I think people should start out with a full tank, but if you're trying to, you know, scavenge everything you can, it's going to end up just like the toilet paper, you know. A big rush on, on supplies when it's not needed. Just grab what you need for the week or something and give the supplies time to come back in. AAA attributing the shortage to a lack of truck drivers transporting fuel to stations. In Woodland Park, two gas stations across the street from one another had different supplies. One was empty and the other had multiple lines. Even with some pumps active in the area, the worries persist. I would be concerned how I was going to get to and from work. Yeah. Because that's most of my uh, gas, my transportation costs is to yeah. work. Although there may be shortages in your area, we urge you not to panic buy during this time. We've been tracking this story in multiple parts of Southern Colorado and keep it right here to KRDO for any developments. Reporting in Woodland Park, Sean Rice, KRDO News Channel 13.